Well, a very good morning and good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, whatever place it is, you tuned on to the Life of Signatures Radio. It is a daily show on the subject of purpose, productivity, and resilience. We get to do this to inspire, to build, to motivate, to teach, to rebuke, to do all necessary that we can be aligned as individuals so that we can deploy our ultimate and full potential, our full best as God intended. And therefore, we normally do this in terms of series. We've just come off a very long series where we were talking about spirit. It's one of the longest I've done. Talking about spirit in different ways, actually. And today we have the opportunity to start discussing something else. Of course, I've said that this podcast is about purpose, about productivity, it's about resilience. And just to lean into the angle of resilience, I want us to start talking about the danger of having personal blockades and not knowing what is going on in our lives. It's a very, very interesting topic that we need to be aware of. So I want you to delve in. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So let us talk about the possibilities that we do have in life because at the end of the day when we do this, when we're talking about blockades, we are actually talking about possibilities that could be there or possibility, possibilities that are actually there in our lives. And the sinister thing, let me use that word, the sinister thing is that we could be able to stand on our own. In fact, we could stand on our own Uh, I mean, on our own way and limit ourselves. And by the way, we could do this without knowing. Maybe we can have this, uh, for the most part, this could be mental blockades that they just limit you. And they could have been borrowed culturally. They could have been borrowed from the family or something of of that nature. And let me just tell you what happened to me some time back and not just some time back in in a a bit of of, of the portion of my life see i was raised up in not so good a well-to-do family who are well-to-do initially and then dad lost his job and stuff like that and things normally happen that way and we retreated to the village and said you know we we couldn't get clothes to put on for a whole year you could just have one set of clothes or two and uh, that's what you would use and uh, maybe a few quote unquote Sunday or Christmas clothes that you outgrew them anyway. And life was basically difficult. And the way we were raised is basically to be made known that you guys are poor, you guys are struggling, and therefore the things that you could desire, you can kiss them goodbye, forget about them, they're not going to happen. That's how I was raised up. And so it came to a place where I went through school and I wasn't able to finish, go to university because I lost the entry point by, entry chance by one point or by two points, something of that nature. But there was another opportunity where you could pay extra dime and then you could study what they called module two. But again, as you guess, my parents did not have the cash. 
So later on as I was growing up I I became so highly spiritual and I remember one of my pastors asking me I, I went to one of my pastors and I told him you know I I've got to I feel cold I feel like I need to spend my the entire of my work life in quote unquote ministry in other words direct spiritual ministry and he gave me one of the advices that still resonates in my life today still rings in my ears he said the world today Lawrence doesn't need people who are just spiritual it needs people who are very well educated and what you need to do you need to go and get a degree no matter how much this man try to convince me that i should go back and and study there was this serious Uh, what do they call these things that when they arrest you they put they put, what do they put on your on your hands when they arrest you there was serious handcuffs so to speak on my brain serious brain cuffs where i could not see myself economically generating income to go and study and the no matter how much he tried he, he he actually saw that i was struggling to believe that it is possible friends I had put a blockade upon my mind. And this is something that is very sinister that we need to discuss. Sometimes this this blockade has 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 grown over a period of time. Maybe it has come through experiences. Okay? The sinister thing is this that it is possible. This is a very very extremely disheartening statement to make. It is possible for me to be tethered in one place and not grow and yet there is a possibility for me to do actually that to grow to become a better person to mature to become the best version of myself and the the, the thing is that i can stand on my way i can be my own competitor not even competitor i can be my own enemy I can be my own blockade I can just blockade myself specifically by the way mostly in the mind and I'm going to give you a definition of a blockade just about now my own definition this is not coming from a dictionary or something of that nature it is possible to remain tethered in life with our own experiences of only what we know what we have experienced what we have seen what we have heard what we have determined and someone said by the way someone said something very interesting said that people normally think that they come and they tell you they have 70 years experience no they don't have 70 years experience they have experience in one year it's been repeated 69 times that's not 70 years experience experience sometimes not only what we know but that's for another day see the subtle thing about a blockade right a personal blockade the subtle thing is that you might not know that it exists and yet it has sat on you it has worked a number on you it has hindered you it is in fact as we speak right now a big hindrance to you but you are comfortable with it or you have come to quote unquote accept defeat and you revel in the defeat you says you hear things like you know we, for us we are africans when you hear that that kind of a thing it's a blockade it's a mental blockade now for us we we you know we come from the west come from the east right for us we are poor it's a blockade that we put on ourselves we've basically accepted it and this thing can even be a sinister as going through generations i'm telling you your grandfather suffered a blockade the same blockade your father suffered the same blockade you're suffering and you're passing it on faithfully to your children is that sinister my definition of a blockade is simply either a conscious or unconscious my goodness either you know or you don't it's a conscious or unconscious limitation that you you readily accept my goodness there are very many keywords here you readily accept as a fact 
my goodness thereby hindering your growth your possible growth your possible fulfillment of all the potential that you could be able to fulfill that is what a blockade is there are very many extremely powerful keywords here the first keywords that i want to discuss are they are conscious or unconscious conscious is that you it's like the same thing i've just said for us we Africans you consciously know that you can be better but because you are a certain group of people a certain people group you have accepted that for you you can't and it's a possibility you know it's a possibility but you've generally accepted that in Africa we cannot root out corruption in Africa we cannot grow up econ- economically in Africa we cannot have roads being built in 100 days at 100 kilometers in 100 days it's this Africa that is a mental blockade it's a conscious mental blockade but then there's a sinister one which is unconscious and these ones they're normally you normally need a professional a coach a counselor to be able to get to the root of it because sometimes we limit ourselves and we have no idea that we've limited ourselves we limit ourselves we cannot experience love to its full extent because of an unconscious blockade we cannot experience confidence walking in confidence in our own because there is an unconscious limitation an unconscious blockade that is blocking us we can't even visualize ourselves being successful because there is an unconscious blockade that is blocking us you understand where i'm coming from so the first word is unconscious keyword unconscious or unconscious the second keyword is a limit limit as in this far and not any further and the sinister thing about that i've said the word sinister very many times because a blockade is a sinister thing the sinister thing about it is is that because we give permission to the limit we we allow the limit we accept the limit that's another keyword we accept the limit and listen to this the, the last keyword is the word fact we accept the limit as if it is a fact you will never be fulfilled you will never get married you are not cute or something of that nature you will never prosper you will never own your own home you will never own your own uh, car vehicle you will never own your own uh, business or estate hey, it's a blockade it's operating in us in different ways with different people hope you get what i'm saying and that is what i want us to start discussing in the episodes that are coming in this particular series it's a sinister thing it might even be operating in me and i don't know i could have a multi billion dollar industry in in, in media multi media but i am blockaded i'm blockaded or i'm limited In worst case scenarios a blockade can exist in an entire generation and it's passed on to the next generation all along they will not even know that there is a blockade that we are being limited or we are limiting ourselves it's a sinister thing it is possible for someone to be born in a poor family have a poor family and <laughs> have them have their own poor families what is the problem it could be a blockade we're going to be going deeper into these things in the episodes that are going to follow please stay tuned and bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring